out here in the beautiful Los Angeles sunset. <laughs> So Sergio fat ass kitchens winning that courtroom? No, I wasn't an idiot. And you fucking called me an idiot. What it did it decline? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm the Audi guy, and this time, I made money off a car for the first time in 24 years. Yep, so we got some lights. It is, uh, what, 9 o'clock on a Wednesday. And we are going to Eurosport to get some things worked on on this fine gem. She's doing really good, just uh, needs a little bit of attention, and she'll be uh, all good. We are at Eurosport, and of course the goodies are outside, a good old GT3. I think, no, I think Tony's a silver, so I don't know, that might be another customer's car. And uh, 430 right next to it, and some other things. Good old Mark IV, B5, ooh, push up. No, I wasn't an idiot, and you fucking called me an idiot. So Sergio fat ass kitchen's winning that courtroom. One eternity later. It is a very exciting day. On a Tuesday around 1 in the afternoon, I am going to pick up the Panamera, the 970.2 Panamera Turbo, the salt black over natural cognac. I'm sorry, I know a lot of you are upset about how I pronounce cognac, but so we're going to Eurosport. Shout out to them. They do great work. If you're in this area, I highly recommend you go visit Nick and Tony. They've always got Ferrari and Porsche and Audi and all good stuff at their shop. We did a water pump thermostat, a lower oil pan, oil change with filter, obviously, a coolant flush. And that's all the work we did to the Porsche to fully sort out this car. Remind you, I bought this car sight unseen in another state, drove it home, and you'll find out the bill, but I came out really good on this car. This thing is so sick. I love this car. God damn it. This car's so fucking nice. So the thermostat. thermostat. In order to change this, you have to take a water pump out. Yep. Because so you, you were telling me that one's in front of the other, right? Yeah. So. The water pump. We notice. <gasps> oh. Leaking. Yeah. So I'm not going to put this yeah, leaking no. water pump back on the tank. I appreciate that. I have to do the job all over. Right. And then, you know, we're all at wall and square one again. Yeah. Hell yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Dude, that car makes me so happy. Good. <laughs> it really does. Shit. It's so weird. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like broken yeah. this whole week. <laughs> when I first got it, I had like some cheap scanner and it ran a code and I looked up the code. I didn't like really know, yeah. but thermostat is not too bad to be honest. Yeah. That's, That's yeah. normal. Yeah. I think that Porsche had like the cam bolts would always break or Yeah, that on the top of the engine. But is that is we that on that one? Or is that on the old one? We had one. Really? Yeah, non turbo, but we had oh, one okay. here. And the cam bolts. Years ago, okay. Yeah, cam bolts they, they broke. And you were saying like the G T three engine is under warranty now to like a hundred thousand miles? Yeah, yeah, you take the responsibility at least, you know? That's crazy, yeah. <laughs> Porsche's coming out of a lot of money. <laughs> you want to keep the customer happy, right. otherwise still by cars you have to be responsible for some kind of major stuff. Right, especially, you know, what Porsche's cost. You buy, you know, $200,000 a car, <laughs> and, and after that, you know, and, and, and 30,000 miles and an engine, how are you going to feel? I would be pretty pissed. I'd, I'd be upset, yeah. That's Definitely why, a little upset. That's why the, the company take a responsibility and do that until the take care of the issue. Yep. And then they take care of the customer for free. It costs you $50,000. For an engine, right? So, yeah. And not including labor, you still got to take the other one out and yeah. put the new one in. Somewhere. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I really like to see that. This is 
literally less than half of any cost I've ever went to the dealership. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what I literally said. I said, this, we're thinking about, we're basically sorting out the car pretty much. No, this just, one thing that... You just spend money for leather over there. Yeah, yeah, basically that, <laughs> that would just be lazy. I told you I did the oil level sensor and I did the oil change just because of that. And I knew I would have to do this anyway, but I didn't do the filter. So why did so. you change the oil level sensor? Because it, it had a, uh, a fault. The level That's right. is not showing right now. So yeah. Sometimes it takes some time for yep. it to pick up the level of the engine. Oil. That's okay. I could tell it was working because the oil was still leaking just a little bit, not nearly as bad as it was. I, could, I would watch it go down. And then I'm like, oh, is it still leaking? Oh, it actually is still leaking, but it, and it's still reading. So I was like, okay, yeah. so that's cool. I, that, I bought it from Porsche. It's a real Porsche yeah. part, so yeah. hopefully. But, but yeah. it, did it, it decline? Said, yeah. I told you, right? I replaced yeah. that emblem on here. I love it. You know how the ones with the aluminum on it, they yeah. get like faded and stuff? Yeah. I'm glad yeah. this is all black because yeah. it, it makes it look a lot yeah, nicer. Look, look. Just in case, we put them all and we say a little more. Take yeah. a look at it. Do the cut is called. Yep. See how it looks. Antifreeze. Uh, from, that at least Audi uses. Is yeah, that okay? Same, that same okay. So I have a uh, the yeah. big jug of yeah. that, so that should be fine. I'll just look at it real quick. Not a problem. Okay. Just anything with me, no, but everything should be fine. Awesome. Thank you. I appreciate you. everything you guys I'll do. See you. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! Oh yeah. Oh my goodness! I have missed this thing so much the one thing i can't show you guys over video is how leather smells i know it's so funny to think about the smell of this car it just it hits you with fucking rich wine and concourse car meat to go wash the car because it's very dirty i just spent all this money to fix it it's got to look nice i just finished drying it we'll take one more look around here so i still have the new protect and surf plate on i have to get it tinted 971 floor mats and now actually looking at these ones again i'm not sure if the 971s will fit uh on the 970.2 but it looks like they might but i have to go and find that out but we'll take one more look in here how clean it is this thing is immaculate and we'll get to the price of what Nada values this at, and that would still mean I have less into it than what they think it's worth, even with the repairs that I just did. So. It's just, this thing is just so clean, it's unbelievable. Must neglect, I can detect, I hope it's gone, it's never left. Just need a rest and dissipate, take me away. From this place, what's left to do? But hang the news, ready the stool, the fear subsides. Close your eyes, open your mind, and see what's inside. So, we're talking about my 2014 970.2 Porsche Panamera Turbo, which is basalt black over natural leather cognac. I'm the third owner of it. It was bought originally in Atlanta, went to the second owner in Pennsylvania, got sold to a dealer in Florida got sold to another dealer in Tennessee, which is where I bought it from. It's a Burmester car. It's got 360 camera, adaptive air suspension, auto start stop, blind spot monitoring, lane assist, electric shades, four zone digital climate, heated rear seats and the steering wheel. Really, really nice. And sport chrono with launch control, which is my favorite part of it. I'm into the vehicle before everything, 48,400. The repairs with tax, 1744 and one cent plus probably uh, an additional 140 to 150 additional costs like i bought interior lights some oil i had to buy an emblem for the key and some other things you know what i mean so all together that puts the car at fifty thousand two hundred and eighty four dollars and one cent so what i did i went into nada in the options list in nada they don't have burmester the car doesn't have adaptive cruise but adaptive cruise is about the same price as burmester so i did one without adaptive cruise one with it so without it they value it at 52 352 i will have been in it to the repairs fifty thousand two eighty four and one cent meaning 
that off that price without adaptive cruise option, it would be a $2,067.99 profit. Now, if I click on the adaptive cruise option, factoring in for Veramester, remember here, they do about $100 more, so $52,452, meaning that I will have made 100 additional extra profit, $2,167.99. So either way, I made a well over a $2,000 profit on this vehicle, everything included with these new repairs. <laughs> no, I wasn't an idiot, and you fucking call me an idiot. So Sergio Fatass Kitchen's winning that courtroom, 